guys, welcome to Rubble's Fish Room. So, as you guys might have noticed, everything's been flower horns, flower horns, flower horns, which are right behind me. They're not going anywhere. Today, I'm going to strip a few African cichlids. Um, some of you might think, yes, I've been neglecting my Africans. Um, I wouldn't say neglect. They get daily water changes, they get fed every day. I just haven't really been stripping them or worrying about fry. Um, multiple reasons. My fry tanks are chock-a-block. Um, what else? I haven't really been selling much and it's my own fault. I haven't been advertising. And that I haven't been advertising because I just can't be bothered dealing with people off Gumtree. I hate people on Gumtree. Um, the only fish that I've been selling is to basically to you guys, the YouTube subscribers. If I get a YouTube subscriber come around to buy a fish, I, I have a great time. I've never had someone who is a subscriber come around and had a bad time selling fish to them. Um, so, if you are a subscriber and you want fish, I'm happy to... I'd rather give you guys a good deal, cheaper fish, than um, put them on Gumtree. I just hate Gumtree. Um, and like, I take a few to the shops, but it's hard to take them to the shops because of the size. Um, I, I, they want coloured up males, basically. Uh, it, I don't like taking silver peacocks into the into the shops, um, and I refuse to colour feed my fry. So it's a lose lose there. Um, stuff like the hongi and stuff like that, I'll take into the shops because the males and females are coloured, but. Yeah, I don't know, I just feel kind of bad taking not non-coloured fish into the shops because I know it's hard for them to sell in the shops. And, yeah. Anyway, that's not what this is about. Today, we're going to strip some females. I'm going to go in my standard tradition, quick video on um, what I'm stripping. Uh, not, I'm not going to go into detail about how I strip the fish. If you guys want to see that, just go to my channel and search cichlid stripping or something. Um, the very first video I did on stripping, I did a full explanation on how to do it. So if you can go back to that vid, um, it's much easier than me explaining it every single time I strip fish. All right, so first of all, we need to move fish around, then we need to move some fry, and um, then we'll start stripping. Alright, so first thing I'm going to do is clear out this tank here. Um, I'm not going to film it, but there's a, fair, a pair of trophy ops over in there. I'm going to move them across to another tank and then we'll, um, that'll be free for fry. Alright guys, you missed out on the highlight of the day. Um, so I knocked this light off the cable ties and it actually ripped the wires on the light, not my dodgy wiring, the actual wire, wiring that was on it from the factory. So, I have fixed it. But, um, so my plan from here on in is I'm going to take these lights off those hooks and cable tie them straight to the timber. There's no need for them to be on the hooks. Um, the ones on the roof, I'm going to take the hooks out and just screw the aluminium straight up to the um, beam that's in there. Actually, they're in wall mates. I'm gonna do something up there. Anyway, I hate them on the hooks. I knock them off all the time. Um, that's that. Let's get back to the job. All right, so little update. That tank now has um, a Lunacara Benga, just a few, like 10 or so, and uh, Dimmy Comps. Uh, there's a lot of Dimmy Comps in there, actually. Uh, probably like 70. Um, and so now I've got a pair of Foscos with a pair of Trophy Opt somethings. Uh, one of those ones that's written down but I don't remember off the top of my head. Um, the Trophy Opts that are in there are pretty rare. I got five and it was all I could get and I was going to get another ten off the guy but they didn't breed for him again so um, I've literally got a pair. So. <coughs> I don't know what I'm going to do. I think I'm just going to overstock that tank. It's a small tank, yes, but 
I think I'm gonna throw all the dragon blood females in there, but yeah, I don't know if I'll have time today because I've got to go to work in a bit. So, uh, one last thing that we did, the Lawanda went down there. So the Lawanda are the ones that I, um, I got the eggs and went full driving. Uh, so they're all still alive. Um, in the tumbler, two of them were spinning, like looked like they were going to die, but they're swimming fine now once I moved them out of the tumbler, which is sick. All right, so I'm going to strip a couple of girls, all right? Not many, because I'm going to run out of time, but we'll see what we can do. All right, first up, Masobo. Beautiful yellow girl. What do we got? What do we got? Alright, we got 20 eggs, roughly. Ah, oh, guys, I wish I was filming. When she spat that, that looked so cool. Um, so she spat the swimmers as I went to strip her. Nice big mouthful from this code blue Elunacara. They're getting pretty old and the mouthfuls just keep getting bigger. Um, we've got a cobalt blue girl holding. I think there's two holding in there, which is good because these guys didn't breed for months. Um, I did a huge male, or not cull, I sold off a heap of males and they stopped breeding when I did that. I ended up leaving it, it was like seven girls, two males, and they didn't breed for the months, and I've had a few mouthfuls since, which is good. Looks like I've got 15 odd eggs there, did she just swallow a few back up? Yeah. Yep, so we've got two cobalt blue mouthfuls. I won't show you this one. Alright, here we've got a Nikali female. I love how white these guys are. These are one of my favourite. Give her a sec, she's um, holding a few eggs in there. Well, there's heaps more in there. I don't know if you can see in the camera. It's not going to focus. She's got little black teeth. I thought that's pretty cool. And of course my Demosoni Trio that defy all odds and just keep breeding. Um, I don't know how the boy hasn't killed them. She's spit out swimmers. I think this one's the last one guys, a little bit disappointing. Um, after all that mishaps with uh, trying different foods the other month, I, I still haven't had the breed rate that I had before, if that makes sense. Um, hopefully adding that new extreme food will be a good move. We'll see. I just like variety. Um, I don't like the idea of only feeding NLS. Um, so we've got swimmers here, or kind of swimmers. I can never decide when they're this size, whether to put them in a tumbler or a tank, but I think I'm gonna go with tank. Just by looking at the way they're moving around, I think for us, it will be fine. One last thing before I wrap this up. Um, check out this beautiful tank here. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. I just cleaned the sponges and caught all the dragon bloods out. So as I, as I suspected, there's only one male in here. 
the male is going to go in my display tank inside and the females are going to go in this tank here so my plan is I don't really have room for these guys so I'm going to overstock this uh, what is it two and a half foot tank I'm going to overstock it with all these girls I've got the trophy ops down there and the two Foscos there and hopefully they attack the um, dragon blood girls if anything and I'm going to try breeding them that way like an overstocked tank because they ha the Foscos had a big tank they didn't breed the um, trophy ops had plenty of room they didn't breed but so I know you guys are going to get angry about the small tank my colony of cobalt blues and uh, the cobalt blues had the five foot I've told you this story before if you're an OG member the cobalt blues had the five foot Paul at Molly Aquariums told me maybe try a smaller tank because I had I had like 30 of these and they were just they were just smashing each other one by one dead 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 um, I put them down here they have half a two and a half foot so they have 1.75 foot by two foot um, they've prolifically bred since so this tank has like 40, more than 40 fish in it, but I've got double the water changes and it's got six sponges in it. So it works well. Look how nice that Nikali is down there. Um, I won't get too close for the video because he'll go behind the rock, but um, I lost my dominant male. I was hell spewing, but it looks like the subdominant male is actually nicer than the dominant male. Um, anyway, so back to this point. This is like a last resort straw for me. I'm going to put an extra hose on this tank. So that means this tank's going to be getting like... Uh, doo -doo -doo. Probably... Probably like 70... No, not 70. 40% um, water change a day. Which is hectic. Um, I'd, please don't bag me out for this, guys. This is my last resort. If you've been following the channel... Foscos are just my enemy at the moment um, and those trophy ops I'm, I'm pretty much ready to cull them um, the trophy ops are pretty rare and it, it seems to be that they're rare because they won't fucking breed sorry for the language um, I just knocked a fish onto the ground oh, and I ripped my pants oh, alright guys don't kick the step run forest run so this is how I transport fish to my display oh shit I forgot about the water change guys boom so yeah my, most of the fish in here that's how they got there running from the fish room oh uh, it's so bright all right I'm gonna wrap today's video up there guys we're um just getting this hose connected again Turns out we're doing a 70% water change on the display. I'm so glad I ripped my pants before I went to work. Um, don't forget to hit like on the video. Especially if you if you like a video more than the other ones, hit like more. Um, if a video gets more likes, it means I do more of that content. Um, and don't forget to subscribe. That 35% of you that aren't subscribed, please click that button. Um, means the world to me. I don't know if you guys realise, but the that little climb in the subscribers, that constant positive arrow, that's what keeps me motivated to make these videos. Um, the support is, and I feel humbled. Um, I enjoy it, and it's just exciting watching it grow. Um, I know it shouldn't, but sometimes if I click on the analytics and there's a red red arrow down sometimes I get a bit disappointed <laughs> but I know it's gonna happen everything comes to a peak but I'll see you guys tomorrow peace out